I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CV. It's Katie and I here with today's morning announcements for Wednesday, February 5th. Food pantry items are desperately needed for families in our district. Please donate crackers, mac and cheese, fruit cups, and raisins. Items can be dropped off in Mrs. Jones' room, and all NHS members are asked to read their CV email concerning the food drive. Center Grange Primary School has an event scheduled for Saturday, February 22nd, and is in need of volunteers. You will receive four service hour credits. Please see Ms. Jones for more information. Today's lunch is double dogs, and tomorrow's is spaghetti and meatballs. If interested in going on the Washington, D.C. trip to the Holocaust Museum on March 26th this year, please stop by Ms. Zillian's room in NB 113. The field trip is open to Ms. Zillian's Holocaust students and from last year. Next week, Operation Generation CV will be selling Valentine carnations. Sales will be Monday through Wednesday, February 3rd through the 5th, during lunch and study hall. Carnations will be $1 each. You can write your own message on our Valentine tags and choose between red, which represents love, pink, which represents like, or white, which represents friendship. Carnations will be delivered on Valentine's Day during study hall. All senior project paperwork is due April 1st. Please see Ms. Kostlik or Ms. Jones with any questions. That's all we have for you today, CV. Have a great day. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Cody and Jenna here with your sports. Attention intramural basketball players. The intramural games scheduled for the auxiliary gym have been canceled and will be played in the main gym next week. An updated schedule will be sent out to team captains. Today, a unified bocce match will take place on Ambridge at 3.30 p.m. Tomorrow, the varsity gymnastics team will take on Pine Richland at Jewett's Gymnasium at 7 o'clock p.m. On Friday, the swim team will take on Northgate away at 6 o'clock p.m. That's all for your sports today, CV. Have a great day. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Antonio Martino here, bringing you mysteries of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The seven wonders of the world are buildings or historical landmarks built in the ancient times. These include the Great Pyramid of Giza, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Temple of Artemis, the Statue of Zeus at Olympia, the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, the Colossus of Rhodes, and the Lighthouse of Alexandria. These monuments are called wonders of the ancient world because the lack of technology and lack of machinery led to believe that it was impossible to build such structures at the time. The Great Pyramid of Giza were created in 2560 BC. It was also the tallest man-made structure for 4,000 years. Scientists believe that over 100 skilled and well-fed workers were needed to complete this structure. However, some theorists believe aliens built these magnificent structures. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were built in current day Baghdad in Iraq and started around 600 BC. Currently, some people believe this wonder never existed. However, with computer modeling, we are able to prove it was real and sued to get water 65 feet high to aqueducts. The Temple of Artemis was built and destroyed three times. Its first construction started in 800 BC. First was a Greek man who destroyed it to become famous. Second were the Goths when destroying towns of Greece. Finally, a Christian mob tore it down to one pillar, how it stands today. The statue of Zeus stood 40 feet tall and was built in 435 BC. However, it was destroyed in the fire of Constantinople. Built in 353 BC, the tomb of Molasses was built using Greek, Egyptian, and Anatolic marble. When the tomb was explored, researchers found goat heads and other sacrificed animals inside. The Colossal of Rhodes is 108 feet tall, standing over the Mandrake Harbor, and was in 292 BC. An earthquake destroyed the statue and laid on the ground for 800 years until the Muslim philosopher melted down for scrap. Finally, we have the Lighthouse of Alexandria. The lighthouse was finished in 280 BC and stood over 350 feet tall. This has been a little history on the seven wonders of the world. Have a great day. See you.